Buzz here to show you how to set up MCP. Now, there are some really weird ways to set this up, and a lot of people get stuff at, stuck at the Java part, and you're going to need two files in the description. One is JDK, Java De Development Kit, and the other is MCP210. Now, let's get started by creating a new folder on your desktop, and name it MCP. And open up MCP210 and hit extract to MCP or the folder you created I don't know what you named it so it's gonna extract there and we'll just wait for that to finish and it finished right as I said that anyway open that up and you should see all these files and so now this is useless I'll just put that in my recycling bin because I don't need it anymore Okay, next, we're going to open up jars. Hit open. And notice the folder is empty. So, let's auto pan on in there and go into app data. So, percent sign app data or app data. It's your choice. Percent sign to end it. And my dot Minecraft should be up here, but I have it going by name. So, mine's down here. And if it's not up there or down there, it's somewhere in roaming in app data. And you're going to need your bin folder, so copy that and paste that on your desktop. And you're going to need your resources folder. And if you don't know how to get here, then you really shouldn't start out modding because you're way behind. But now that that's copied, you can just exit off um, dot Minecraft and pull the bin folder and resources folder into MCP slash jars. Now, this is all you need in order to mod. However, you downloaded JDK, right? So, you're going to need to go to your computer and find your C hard drive. And go on down to Program Files. And I'll auto pan on in there. It's called Java. Open up JDK, not JRE or JRE6 if you downloaded those. But JDK 1.6.0 underscore 24. That's my version. You might have a different one and I believe you go into bin and you see this you're going to copy this link I don't know why I have a new folder in there that's useless yes I I provide administration to delete that folder anyway you see this hit control C or just go and copy it manually and next this is where it gets all weird go to computer right click that and go to properties next go to advanced system settings and 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 you should go to the advanced tab in environmental vari variables and you should see path and it should be down here actually somewhere it's it's between class path and just path so whichever one works for you you're going to add a semicolon if it, there's not already one and paste what you just copied so control V or manually paste it now that that's done hit OK and hit OK and hit OK and hit exit <clears throat> now you should be able to decompile it and if you can decompile it successfully you have done MCP so we'll just run decompile and see if it decompiles see deobfuscating Oh, that sounds really kind of nasty. But deobfuscating Minecraft.jar, unpacking Minecraft.jar, fixing Minecraft classes, decompiling Minecraft classes, and <clears throat> just wait, just wait. Repackage Minecraft sources. Uh, wait some more. <laughs> um, patching Minecraft sources. Minecraft server.jar was not found. It's only not found if you did not if you're not modding. I'm modding client, so and you are modding client if you followed the steps. So you're not modding a server, you're modding Minecraft single player and renaming methods and fields. Once that's done, I'll show you. There we go. MCP 2.10 decompile script finish. 
press any key to continue. Now you've successfully done MCP. When modding, you're going to go into sources, Minecraft, net, Minecraft, SRC. Now you see all these, they're text files. Now I would suggest opening it up with Eclipse or any other Java program, JD GUI, uh, or just Notepad++. You can open up with Notepad, but it's not really smart. But for just this, I'll just show you. Open it up with any. Open up block TNT. Dot, it's a job. It's a dot Java file, and you should see all this code. It's not really a big file, but basically, yeah. Look at that. And you can just edit out what you want, what you want it to do, etc., etc. And basically, when you're done modding all those. If you're done modding all of them, and you should go back and hit recompile that bad. <laughs> Sorry, I just sniffed. I'm kind of sick. But once it's done compiling, I don't need to compile it because I didn't mod anything. But say you mess up, you get an error while recompiling. You've done everything you've tried. Nothing seems to f work, and you just want to start all over. Hit clean up. As soon as it loads, what? Okay, hit clean up, and it should say cleaning up, and then like done. All I'm, yep, done. So now nothing is decompiled, nothing is the same. See if you go on down, if you go to temp, T E M P, that folder is empty. If you go on down to sources, that folder is empty. Nothing is there anymore. Your jars folder, it should be there. See? Now, tomorrow on April 5th, there will be a, a new modding video on how to create your own mob. So stay tuned for that and this is